Fright fans, it's your old pal Uncle Ghoulie back again to take you into the wild and woolly world of horror, science fiction, and cult movies that we like to call Horror Incorporated. Hey, who was that lady I saw you with last night? Why, that's no lady. That's the star of this week's Fright Flick, Lady Frankenstein. It's Italian sex goddess Rosalba Neri, here credited as Sarah Bay, stars as the equally nutty daughter of old Dr. Frankenstein and proves once again that the apple just don't fall too far from the tree. Ah, uh, yes. Another fine example of family values, eh, sir? Uh, yeah, never mind that, Carbuncle. Uh, is there something different about our bandaged buddy over there? Uh, did you get a haircut or something? Uh, no, sir, I don't believe so. In fact, I don't think he's changed in over 3,000 years. No, no, there's definitely something different about him. Or her, you know, I've never bothered to check. Uh, I believe you are referring to the sarcophagus, sir. Or rather, the lack thereof. By Jove, that's it, Carbuncle. You put your finger right on it. So are we uh, giving the old prune a good airing out or something? Uh, no, sir. I believe the sarcophagus was repossessed due to non-payment of bill. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose 3,000 years of not paying your bills will do that. Yes. You'd be the one to know, wouldn't you, sir? Yeah, I would, wouldn't I? Gosh, think, think of the interest alone on something like that. Carbuncle, I've got to get a piece of that. Yes. Perhaps you have found a career calling which would suit your evil antisocial temperament, sir. Mm. As I do believe, one of the prerequisites for becoming a loan officer is being completely soulless. You know, I think you're right. And speaking of completely soulless, sir... Hey there, Uncle Gooey. Well, if it isn't my favorite niece 13 up from the vault of this week's movie, and it is. So what kind of crummy movie are we showing this week? That's right, we are showing a movie this week. You know, in all this greed and avarice, I almost forgot. Yes, and wouldn't that have been a tragedy, sir? Say, why don't you go have yourself stuffed and mounted? And why don't you go take a flying... No, 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 Why don't you two stop that? At least wait until Gordon and I go up to the projection booth and spool the movie up, all right? Sorry, Uncle Willie. Yes, you most certainly... Are. Very well, I'll stop. I see that you do. So, what is it? Well, I think it's a little bit of chafing, but... No, no. What is this week's movie? Oh, that, that, of course. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, it's the uh, 1972 Italian-made train wreck of a movie, Lady Frankenstein, directed by none other than Gravis Mushnik himself, Mel Wells of The Little Shop of Horrors. Hmm, yes. A very long way to go to only find that the shop is, in fact, closed, is it not, sir? Yes, indeed it is. Well, so Little Shop of Horrors is a really good movie. Is this Lady Frankenstein? Well, you know, 13, you win some, you lose some. And unfortunately, Lady Frankenstein is indeed no Little Shop of Horrors. Suddenly Seymour is standing beside me. Sit down, give... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, for fun. Ah, a garden. Gordon, old man, what do you say we going up to the booth and spool so this thing gives up, eh? little prune face right. a sarcophagus? Did someone swipe it? No. As I explained to the master, it was indeed repossessed for non-payment of bill. Darn it! I wanted to use it to give Wolfie his tick bath in. Oh, to get rid of his ticks. To give him ticks. <sighs> you know, I'm getting very close to calling animal control and having that beast taken away. And I'm not necessarily referring to the werewolf. Well, I suppose we've stalled it off as long as possible, but I'm afraid that we will indeed be showing this week's movie, Lady Frankenstein from 1972, starring in Oh, How the Mighty Have Fallen, Joseph Cotton, Sarah Bay, Paul Mueller, and Mr. Jane Mansfield, Mickey, Hargitay, all more or less directed by Mel Wells. Do enjoy. Ooh. Hey, while it is perplexing as to why Mel Wells, uh, grab a smushnik from the Little Shop of Horrors, suddenly a... Seymour yeah. is standing hey, beside. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, where was I? What was I saying? Oh, yes, well, thank you. 
Uh, while it's perplexing as to why Mel Wells, uh, Gravis Mushnik from the Little Shop of Horrors, was in Italy. At, oh, great. Well, thank you, Mel. That's a better bit. Uh, was in Italy directing Lady Frankenstein, it's even more perplexing as to why Joseph Cotton was there acting in it. I mean, after all, the guy was in Citizen Kane, for crying out loud. I mean, I suppose the guy's got to eat, and he didn't have to do anything too degrading, unlike most of the rest of the cast, or, well, anyone appearing on this show, for that matter. Uh, so what the heck? Hey, take the money and run, I say. Well, that should take care of her for a while. But... If I were you, I wouldn't mention a certain low-budget horror-slash-comedy flick about a man-eating plant. Good point. So, now that you've babbled on about the movie for a while, I'm hoping we can just go ahead and ignore it for the rest of the episode. Well, you know, we'll do our best, but I'm sure it's bound to pop up in these bits once in a while. See that you do. Yeah, all right. Say, any word on when that mummy sarcophagus thingy is coming back? I sent that old withered carbuncle out to get the ticks for Wolfie's tick bath that I need the sarcophagus to bathe them in. Yeah, bathe who? Uh, carbuncle or Wolfie? Don't get vulgar. Oh, sorry. <sighs> well, anyway, when he gets back with them, just send him upstairs. I might just dump him in his bed. Yeah, good idea. Well, I wonder why she needed to send carbuncle out for ticks. I mean, Gordon's got plenty of them already. Though, you know, he is awfully possessive of his ticks. Uh, okay, Wh where were we? Oh, yes, thank you, Molly. Let's see. So stick around, Fright fans. There's plenty more of Horror Incorporated coming right up, but first, let's pause 15 minutes to bring you these important messages from your local Lady Frankenstein. Who, who writes this stuff anyway? I do beg your pardon. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, what am I doing? This fellow is even deader than I am. With all of the jokes that are made around here at the expense of my chalky complexion and deathly pallor, this mummified fellow here seems to have me beat. As bad as I feel sometimes, at least I don't feel as bad as he looks. <sighs> oh, Master Gordon, you startled me. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, yes. Well, as it belongs to him, I suppose we could place it over here and put him in. Say, hey, uh, what's going on here, anyway? Ah, uh, Master Gordon and I were discussing your mummy case, sir. Say, you leave my mother out of this. I know I've got some issues, but I'm working on them. No, no, sir, you misunderstood. No one is interested in your relationship with your mother. Yeah, least of all my mother. Yes, well, we were in fact discussing the sarcophagus, sir. No, oh, yeah. Ah, we were, weren't we? Uh, I knew that, didn't I? Yes. Well, uh, do carry on. Yes, uh, well, I was of the understanding, sir, that the sarcophagus had been repossessed. Well, you know, it had, but I took it upon myself to hawk a few items and get it back. Oh, well, how very uncharacteristically thoughtful of you, sir. And uh, what exactly did you hawk, sir? Well, a few of your gold teeth. Naturally. Ooh, well, that? Oh, just put that anywhere. Oh, no, sir, don't tell him to do that. No. Ah, oh, yes, I suppose I could have predicted such a thing would happen. Well, as my spine is already crushed and my pelvis dislocated, I might as well just enjoy the solitude and remain compressed beneath this heavier than it looks sarcophagus. Naturally. 